Good morning, beavers. It is I, Lori, and this is Tuesday on the Beaver Bunch. As you can see, I am broadcasting from outside. Somebody had said that they wanted me to film a video in a park, and I am in a park. And I figured today was a perfect day to be in the park, other than the fact that it's probably like less than 50 degrees, because I'm pretty sure I can see my breath. Let's see. <sighs> but I just wanted to do it because it was so beautiful out, even though it's it's kind of cold, but it's just really nice. See, so look at that sun shining, and it's probably one of the nicer days before it starts getting cold. So I figured what, what a great week to talk about being positive and um, then to be somewhere where it's positively beautiful. Now, how did I get to where I am being positive and confident? What really kind of molded me was doing volunteer work and like being around different kinds of people and having a loving family. <laughs> In high school, I did some like leadership training, like even through my church. Like I, I got to go to some like character building uh, workshops and seminars and conferences and you know weekend trips or whatever. And and I can honestly say like going to things like that, hearing motivational speakers, like having them talk over and over about how special you are and how you have great talents and gifts that you can bestow on the world, if you will. Um, I think it was always very inspiring to me. It kind of shows you that it's true, like you can do great things. I was always told like, you know, you have great unique gifts. You just have to figure out what they are. Like you are beautiful, but you just have to figure out what you think is beautiful. My confidence has come in the fact that I've defined myself by my own terms and and you know, just giving myself time to reveal myself to me, uh, and being patient and saying, "Okay, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna gonna have obstacles. Maybe it's gonna beat me. Maybe I'm gonna beat it. But either way, I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna take that. And it's probably going to get me somewhere for some type of reason. Like what you go through prepares you for what you're going to go through. Like I think that there's just so much, so much goodness around us that." And that's something that's probably why I'm so positive. I'm, I'm extremely happy. This is not an act. Like, I really, I really am happy. Like, I have a song. I have a song in my heart. God, I'm just going to go with it. I have a song in my heart, and it's like, no, no one can take that away. You can, do, you, you can do whatever it is that you do and feel those things. It's just you have to feel like, I have the things that make me happy. And it might be your family, or it might be your friends, or it might be your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, or your um, art, or your expression. Like, any anything that you found that you do that you love, like, um, surround yourself with positive things. Like, if you feel something, and if you feel strength, like, you need to give it to people who have not found it. And if you find beauty, you need to find people who have not found that beauty. And if you know things, you have to teach people. You know, it, it's like... It, that's how it gets back to you and that's how you learn and it's from you know you ooh, I don't know if you saw that leaf fall that was cool um but you you cultivate this this environment around you and you kind of put into it what you're going to get back from it like it's not that good things happen to people who do good things it's just people who do good things are going to be more aware of good things that are going on around them I, I got I, I, <laughs> bumper stickers are spewing out of my mouth the sky is not even the limit there it's limitless and I just you know I think that the first time of the like people who aren't morning people I don't get it because it's like the morning is your first chance to like choose to have a good day and it's like why wouldn't you want a good day you have responsibility of making a good day like you could wake up on the wrong side of the bed but then you know what get back into bed go out the other side I don't think I'm making any sense. I just sound so philosophical today in my little my little hat. I just I just believe that there's so much goodness if we can only open our eyes to it. And there is so many things that we ourselves are possi are, are able to create and to give goodness to others if we open ourselves to that and if we make ourselves available. Like I think that anytime you go against routine or what is expected um, or you know the normal anytime you go against that it creates a reaction that's exactly what you put into it like you know you could say hi how are you good thanks how are you great 
have a nice day. Or you can say, if somebody says, hey, how are you? You can say, I'm having a great day. Or like, I'm so glad that you asked. And you would not even believe if you change your response how other people change their response to you. And I think that that is like universal with most things in life. You'll, you'll just be surprised like how many chances you have to like be touched by other people and like in return touch other people. And I know that sounds dirty, but I, I just really, I really, really, I am a firm believer. But I, I just, I think that you just have to go for it and you just have to trust sometimes that like it's worth the extra energy. It comes back to you threefold. <sighs> I just don't think that life should be wasted on negativity. Just bring good things to yourself. Surround yourself by people who are positive and who want to be happy, not people who thrive on negativity and seeing other people suffer. Like, that's cruel. Those aren't friends. Don't concentrate so much on what you're afraid of and think about what it is that you love and what you long for and what you want to accomplish and what you want to be and what the change that you want to make, like, then just do it. Like, what are you waiting for? There's no reason not to. There's no reason. You're, you're better than that. You are, and you just have to realize that, and you just have to know that. Fake it before you make it. Like, if you don't think it, pretend it, and then you will think it. You, you surround yourself with positive things, and you end up being positive. I don't know. I just I'm kind of... <laughs> Kind of a uh, poster child, I guess. Positive, positivity poster child. And I'm proud of that. I really am. I really want pe people to be happy. And especially the people I care about and the people that make me happy. Like, you better believe I tell them all the time. Like, I'm, I don't think that anyone should be denied of knowing that if they have such a positive effect on you. You have a positive effect on me. See, I tell you that like all the time. All of you little baby beavers out there, I tell you all the time because you know what? You motivate me and you inspire me and you challenge me to think about these things. And you know what? I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. And I want to hear what you have to say. Like, tell me what works for you and what you struggle with. And like, just talk about it. Like, don't be so afraid to open up and like let other people help and, you know. Because you'll probably help other people, too. All right, it's cold. It's really cold. <laughs> but the warmth of my positive thoughts are are keeping me toasty right now. But um, not for much longer. Oh, it's trash day. Um, everyone have a great, great week. And I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Bye.